It's a Mammal by Sharon Stewart. Many Animals A cow munches on hay, a koala lives in a tree, a bat flies through the dark, a dog chases after a ball. It's clear that these animals are very different, yet in one way they are alike. They are all mammals. Guess what? You're a mammal too. There are millions of species or kinds of animals. There are about 4,000 species of mammals. Why are these animals called mammals? What makes them different from birds or reptiles? Elephant, zebra, human, dog, bat, fox, chinchilla, mouse. Mammals come in all shapes and sizes from huge elephants to tiny mice. What is a mammal? Mammals have certain things in common. Mammal mothers produce milk for their babies to drink. Most mammals have fur or hair to keep them warm. They are also warm blooded. This means that their body temperature does not depend on the temperature outside. Mammals also have a skeleton that is held together by a backbone. Guinea pig. Backbone. A cat's backbone and skeleton support its body. Most mammals give birth to their babies. However, the duck-billed platypus and the echinud lay eggs instead. In this way, these mammals are like reptiles. Echina. Most mammal babies are fully formed when they are born. Marsupials, like the wallaby, are different. They are born when they are still tiny and only partly formed. They do most of their growing inside a warm pouch on their mother's belly. Marsupials. There are more than 250 species of marsupials. Many are found in Australia and some are found on nearby islands. Kangaroo. Wallaby, wombat, koala, baby mammals. Most baby mammals need their mother's milk to live. In fact, their mother's milk is the only food very young mammals eat. It is full of nutrients to help them grow. It also contains the water they need to survive. Reptiles such as snakes and turtles cannot make milk. Baby reptiles take care of themselves almost from birth. Baby mammals, however, need their parents. A calf grows strong from its mother's milk. A mother bear takes her cubs fishing. Mammal parents take care of their young. They feed them and protect them from harm. Mammal parents play with their young and teach them how to behave. Lions teach their cubs how to hunt and protect themselves. Horses teach their foals how to run. Mammal parents care for their babies until the babies are old enough to take care 
of themselves. Keeping warm. Many mammals have furry coats to help keep their bodies at the right temperature. Some have two coats of fur to trap the heat. The Arctic musk ox has short wool under its long hair. Arctic musk ox. Many water mammals don't have furry coats like land mammals. Instead, some water mammals, such as walruses, have blubber. Blubber is a layer of fat under the skin. It keeps these mammals warm. Walrus. Some mammals, such as the dormouse, woodchuck, and some bats, hibernate during the cold winter. First, they eat to fatten themselves up. When the cold weather comes, they fall into a sleep-like state. They do not need much energy, so hibernating mammals usually do not eat. Their fat gives them enough energy and keeps them warm. Then, when spring comes and the weather is warmer, they wake up. Dormouse. Can you see the hibernating dormouse? Where mammals live. Mammals live in many different places or habitats. They live in grasslands and in deserts, on arctic shores and in rainforests. Their bodies have adapted to survive many conditions. Camels have adapted to live in the hot, dry desert where there is little food or water. They get energy from a fatty substance stored inside their humps. Their thick foot pads protect them from the hot sand. In sandstorms, camels close their nostrils and keep out sand with their long, double eyelashes. The polar bear's coat blends into the snow. Polar bears are well adapted to their cold arctic habitat. Their fur is made of hollow hairs that capture the heat of the sun. Their tough, dark skin takes in much of this warmth. They also have a thick layer of fat under their skin. Their big paws have hair on the bottom to grip the slippery ice. They have adapted to the icy arctic waters and they are excellent swimmers. Endangered mammals. Mammals, like all animals, depend on their habitats for survival. All over the world, mammals are losing their habitats and food sources. Many mammals live in areas where humans are taking over land. Animals cannot adapt to this change. Some animals may soon become extinct. This means that all of that kind of animal die out. Animals that may become extinct are called endangered animals. More mammals are endangered than any other kind of animal. The giant panda found in China is endangered. Some endangered species. Black rhinoceros, kind of habitat, grassland and open woodland. Location, parts of central and southern Africa. Tiger. Kind of habitat, tropical forest and deciduous forest. Location, parts of southern and eastern Asia. Woodland caribou, kind of habitat, coniferous forest and tundra. Location, parts of northern Canada. Gray wolf, kind of habitat, 
coniferous forest, tundra, and mountains. Location, parts of North America, Europe, and Siberia. Mammals on the move. Most mammals move around on four legs. They run, walk, or trot. Some jump and leap, and others swim and fly. Some two-legged mammals, like humans, walk, run, or jump. Mammals that jump. Australia's kangaroos are possibly the most famous jumping mammals. They hop along by pushing off the ground with their large feet and powerful back legs. Believe it or not, red kangaroos can leap more than 25 feet in a single bound. That's more than four times as far as they are tall. The red kangaroo, a muscular tail, powerful hind legs, short arms. Australia's brush-tailed rock wallabies are also great jumpers. Wallabies are small to medium-sized mammals in the kangaroo family. Brush-tailed rock wallabies have padded hind feet to help them grip the rocky cliffs on which they live. They can jump about 13 feet high. Brush-tailed rock wallaby. Other mammals that jump. Impala. Antelope. Rabbit. Jerboa. Mammals that fly. Bats are the only mammals that can fly. Most bats have sharp teeth and big ears. All bats have wings made of leathery skin. This skin is stretched over their arm and finger bones. Bats' wings vary in size. Some bats have wingspans of more than five feet. Others have wingspans of only six inches. Noctul bat, fruit bat, finger, thumb, leathery skin, arm. Bats often roost in caves during the day and come out at night. Some bats fly as high as 10,000 feet as they move from place to place. As they fly around, they often scatter seeds and pollinate plants. Bats fly mostly at night. This is because they are nocturnal mammals. They leave their homes at night to find food such as fruit, insects, or small animals. A bat can eat up to 3,000 insects in one night. Bats can see, but some also use echolocation to fly and hunt. Their high-pitched squeaks bounce off objects and echo back to them. This tells them where things are. This long-eared bat has caught a moth. Mammals that swim. Mammals that live in the water, such as whales, have bodies that are shaped for swimming. Their skin is smooth, but like other mammals, whales have some hair. Instead of front legs, whales have flippers. Unlike fish, whales cannot breathe underwater. They must swim to the surface for air. There are two kinds of whales, toothed whales and toothless whales. The biggest whales are toothless whales. They can grow to be more than 100 feet long and weigh nearly 150 tons. The toothless whale family includes the humpback whale. Many dolphins can swim about 25 miles per hour. Toothed 
the whales, such as dolphins, hunt for food like fish and squid. The bottlenose dolphin is the most common type. Walruses, seals, and sea lions are water mammals, like whales. Unlike whales, they have four flippers, one pair in the front and one pair at the back. Most of their lives are spent in the water. At least once a year, they settle on beaches or sea ice. There, they give birth to their babies. Other mammals that swim, walrus, seal, sea lion. Mammal senses. Most mammals, like people, have five senses. The five senses are sight, sound, smell, taste, and touch. Many animals' senses are better than humans. Bush babies, animals similar to monkeys, see and hear far better than humans. At night, their huge eyes pick up the faintest light. Their large ears swivel to track flying insects. Then, they swing out like acrobats to snatch the insects in mid-air. Rabbits are terrific tasters because they have 17,000 taste buds. That's 7,000 more than humans have. The bush baby's large eyes help it see at night. The hedgehog's special talent is sniffing. Its moist, twitchy nose can find worms about an inch below the ground. Its nose helps the hedgehog track down spiders, snakes, and mice. Hedgehogs find each other using scent trails. Touch is important to monkeys. They touch or kiss when they meet. They spend hours grooming each other. Grooming seems to relax them and strengthen friendships. A hedgehog has poor sight, but can smell very well. One baboon is grooming another. Amazing mammals. Whether they run, hop, swim, or fly, mammals are amazing. Take a look at how different these mammals are. The slowest mammal is the sloth. It moves only about six to eight feet per minute. The koala is the sleepiest mammal. It naps for up to 22 out of 24 hours each day. The fastest land mammal is the cheetah. For a short distance, it can run at 60 miles per hour. Glossary. Adapted. Changed to survive in a particular habitat. Coniferous forest. A forest made up mostly of trees with needle-like leaves that stay green all year. Deciduous forest. A forest made up mostly of trees that lose and regrow their leaves each year. Echolocation. Using echoes to locate objects. In danger. In danger of becoming extinct. Extinct. This type of animal is no longer living. Habitats. Places where plants and animals live. Hibernate. To go into a long, deep sleep, usually in winter. Marsupials. Mammals that carry their young in a pouch on their body. Nocturnal. Active at night. Nutrients. Substances that living things need to grow and be healthy. Pollinate. To place pollen on a flower. Warm-blooded, having a body temperature that does not depend on the temperature outside. Think about it. 1. Why do you think people would read this book? 2. 
Why might it be unusual to think of human beings as mammals? 3. Explain the different ways some mammals can adapt to their surroundings. 4. Why do you think some bats use echolocation to fly and hunt if they are able to see? 5. What was the most interesting fact you learned about mammals?